How you doing folks? We're back on the back side of 14 here. Um, we just took one of the uh, greenside bunkers, the back greenside bunker, and we've been able to reshape it here uh, into a grass bunker. And what we've done, again, we've uh, taken the clay and worked it back into the slope, sod, everything, kind of working uh, any type of vegetation we can into that clay to give it a little bit more, again, porosity, a little bit more organic in order to hold... Uh, hold a little bit more moisture, not necessarily moisture, but uh, to help the grass grow. Uh, as we pan around here on the back side of the slope here, as we can see, we've tried to, and I got a little bit more work there, we're going to be tying that contour right existing into the existing contour as we pan around. That's what we try to do here, as we reshape, we want to keep the existing contours and accent them, and uh, once again, you know, uh, provide some character to a once sand bunker that's been uh, totally, uh, you know, kind of no character to it. Uh, and as you get up on top here, uh, there might be some mowing that might have to be done uh, by hand, just a little bit. We're, we're probably going to, we'll be able to gentle this slope here just a little bit. As you can see, I'm walking down here. We'll be able to mow this with machine. But this is a uh, high traffic area uh, as far as, um, you know, people that drive by and see the golf course up here, a lot of exposure. So we wanted to get a a little bit fancy here with some of the capes to show the public uh, some of the changes that are being made to bring the contouring back up to date. And as you can see, it turned out quite well. Um, what we're going to do with this is I'm probably going to leave the bottom kind of tattered a little bit like that because uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come back and prepare it for seed. And what happens is if I smooth it out too much with the machine, like we have up on top uh, on the back side of that mound, it makes it very difficult in order to get seed into the ground. Um, with the clay, we're able to get it into the soil and make it stick. Then we pack it on in with the Sampro uh, tires. But uh, if I leave it a little bit rough like this, when the crew comes behind me uh, in order to rake it and smooth it on out, by leaving it a little bit more rough, it makes it easier for them to break it on up. If I compact it too much, it's too hard to get a rake through. We'll never get it as smooth as we possibly can. So uh, for all intents and purposes, uh, this bunker is basically rough shaped and we're going to move on to the next one.